What does it mean for the fans with the reshuffle you guys have had in terms of your roles in the offseason? Um, I, I think from a fan's perspective, they should expect continuity. I think that you know the working dynamic of our group is something that's largely been established. Um, I think the the recent changes were something that were done in part to try to put us in the best position to succeed and to to make sure we have our focuses in the areas where we need to without being spread too thin. Um, you know, myself and Heim, uh, we, we've grown up in the organization together. Our working dynamic is as good as it gets, and uh, that's something that that we expect to, to continue all the way through. And obviously, Matt's experiences and mentorship to us has been incredibly invaluable. So I think, in terms of philosophies, in terms of our approach. Um, you know, we, we do the best we can to continue to learn from <laughs> from our decisions, uh, both the good and, and the bad. And unfortunately, we've been a little bit more on that side the last few years. But um, again, I think to, to summarize, it's something where the continuity should leave from a fan's perspective, and from a decision making perspective to see similar decisions to what we've made for many years. You mentioned growing up in the Rays organization along with Heim and of course, Matt Silverman, and Andrew Friedman, all those years of success, you raised the bar pretty high for a small market team. Four out of six years in the playoffs, five out of six years, 90 wins or more. As we begin the winter meetings, there's a new collective bargaining agreement in place. What kind of challenge does it present the Rays or a small market team with what just transpired? It's, um, it's always a challenge. It, it, it is, in, in some of those years we had, we were incredibly fortunate to to have them, um, but the you know the advantages as a small market club when you have success, you're often picked apart. You know your approach is often picked apart and scrutinized, and, and some of the areas where at one point you might have had an advantage, those start to evaporate um, as they're taken on by by larger market clubs. But I think you know for all of us, that's that's a lot of the fun and the, the fulfillment we get out of doing what we do. Um, there are certain challenges. Um, but because there are certain challenges, it allows us to know these are the areas we need to focus. We don't need to cover the entire world. We just need to cover this continent. <laughs> and and uh, if we do that, and if we do it well, uh, we believe we, we can continue to compete as we move forward.